do these things to get more Halloween tickets a lot faster. So the first one is kind of simple where you can kind of just go into the achievements. Now if you go to events and you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you have these missions kind of things what give you tickets. Now if you defeat the boss 20 times, you get 150 mansion tickets. And then if you get one cat pet spawn egg and three boss plushies, you can go ahead and get 250 mansion tickets. And then if you participate in the event 25 times, you can get 150. Now this is one of the easiest way to get them fast since you don't have to do that much and it's pretty straightforward to actually go and get them. Now another way to actually go ahead and get more tickets faster is actually becoming first place in the actual event when you beat the boss. Now some ways you can actually go ahead and do that is grind with friends so then you can go ahead and ask them can I get first so then I can go ahead and get this first and if they're nice enough they'll go ahead and let you. Now another thing is if you don't have friends you can go ahead and use alt accounts what are over level 30 combats since you need that requirement to actually get into the actual event but you can use alt accounts to fill up that empty space so you don't have randoms in your actual game because what you can do is have one of your friends with an alt account and then you can have yourself with an alt account then you can't have any randoms in your game what is always nice to have since randoms don't know what they're doing and they will mess up your game. Now I'm gonna actually head into the actual game and show you the last one what is pretty straightforward but like I'm just gonna show you it in game. Alright, so once we're in, we just gotta get to the haunted house and I'll tell you what to do there. Alright, so we're in the haunted house. Now they've completed all of them, we just wanna wait at this door. Just, we wanna come down here before they actually put it into that actual middle one. So then we can go ahead and walk through here and get the highest score before them. Because if we actually hit this multiple more times before they get here, we can go ahead and get more points and then we can come first. Now I have noticed that the last hit on this boss actually gives you quite a fair bit of points. So you could be first this whole time, but if you don't get that last hit, you are not going to go ahead and win. But these little things right here, they give you quite a fair bit of score as well. They give you at least 10, I'm pretty sure, 20. I'm not quite sure, but they do give you quite an advantage, which is quite good. So make sure you go ahead and kill them when they actually spawn. Don't just stand there. But yeah, that's all the tips I have for you. You guys if you have any more tell me down in the comments and i'll mostly reply to your comment but if you want more info on the actual new update click on this video right up here